guys, it's me, Panso6, and today we are talking about trust and why you shouldn't just trust anybody. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't trust people, but sometimes you should get to know people before you, you know, let them in. And the reason I'm talking about this is due to the fact me and my fiance. Uh, recently allowed a couple people to move in with us because um, I was down on our luck and was looking for another roommate just for the time being and it has turned out to an utter disaster and this has only been for a month now <clears throat> and um, you can basically see where I'm going when you talk about roommates um, you can kind of see what kind of problems will come with that. That would be like money, cleanliness, and, you know, res just respect in general. And, um, we're not getting any of that. <laughs> and it's been an issue. And, um, oh man. But, <laughs> anyways, I, I, I'll go ahead and be the first to admit. For the longest time, I was kind of a slob. And I sometimes have my slobby days, but for the most part, um, for the last like few years, four or five years, I have cleaned myself up, and I hate living in filth. I hate it. I can't do it. It drives me crazy, and <clears throat> I, I want to have a clean house. I don't want to have a dirty house. Um, and people moved in with us don't understand cleanliness at all um, and I'm always having to pick out up at race people and uh, you know it's, it's pretty pretty fucking ridiculous whenever you spend a whole day cleaning you go off on these people for not helping they tell you they're going to help you things will change and they fucking don't. And basically what it boils down to is um, these people like to use my means of entertainment, my Xbox, my TV, instead of doing things like pick up a plate when you're done with it, throw away a can of soda when you're done with it, you know, that kind of stuff. Um... Here's a good example. Um, the other day, I was <clears throat> I, I went off on these people. Um, I, I <laughs> they have a dog and they brought it in the house, and I don't want the dog in the house. They don't know, no, it's not supposed to be in the house. And the other day, I was walking through my house, and I went to my um, front door to get the mail, and there was a big pile of clothes front of the door um, instead of picking these clothes up um, basically what they did was leave them there so I started to pick them up and move them out of the way and under these clothes was a big pile of dog shit which I stepped on well I was not very happy and I said some choice words and next thing you know that um, the guy was trying to play psychiatrist with me trying to level with me to make me feel all happy inside and let try to assure me that things will get better I won't, this will not happen again well uh see that next day we wake up i look around the house everything's still a mess so i pick up everything clean mop sweep everything and everything looks perfect and Next thing you know, it the next day it's fucking filthy again. And I can't, I can't handle that stuff. It, it just drives me crazy. Um, but the next thing is money, money. When you, <laughs> when you have uh, bills to pay, rent, utilities, you make that your priority. You don't make, um, you know, Diablo three your priority. You don't make not getting a job a priority, which I have applied for tons of jobs. 
I can't get one, but these people have money and just for some odd reason don't want to give me money, <laughs> which that's another problem because I have to pay for this $800 rent. Me and my fiance both have to do this because it needs to get paid so we don't get kicked out of the house. And I have always, me and my fiance have always been on time with our bills, our rent, uh, everything. And that's one reason why her and I are thinking about moving to Illinois because A, we are tired of living with roommates. We don't want that anymore. We're sick of that. And B, it's hard to depend on people. So if we move to Illinois, it's going to be a her and I thing. <laughs> we depend on each other and that's it. No roommates. But if you're if you're kind of if you're if you're renting a house or any if something like that, if you're you're kind of nude and you're just kind of you're renting and you need people, be sure to look into these people before you do it. Don't just jump in blindly because you need somebody to um, you know help with bills and stuff like that and. Um, especially if the people are down on their luck. Yeah, it's nice to help people, but don't do it to where it's going to hurt you. And I know that this sounds really, really selfish because I would give my shirt off my back to anybody that needs it. I, I know it's weird. Even my shirt could be a blanket for most people, but it's true. I would give my shirt, give the shirt off my back and the food off my plate. Um, to make sure somebody has something. I always put other people before me. I've always been like that. And yes, that could be a big weakness of mine. And I'm starting to figure that out. Um, and it's not really, really a good thing because I love helping people. Um, but sometimes... I guess, I guess I'm at the point where I have to start thinking about myself and my fiance and more than other people because it's just going to get me and her in trouble. I don't know. I know it's, I like I said, it sounds really selfish and I don't want to be, I, I feel like I'm an asshole because I'm like this, but I mean... It's just been miserable to the point where it's just driving me crazy. And I don't like to go off on people. I don't like to get mean with people. I don't like, um, you know, hurting somebody's feelings. I'd rather, you know, drop the subject. If, like, me and my fiancé fight, like, we don't have fights. Sometimes, you know, everybody has their spats. You know, I would rather just, you know, let her win or whoever I'm having a spat with. You know, I'd rather just drop it, just walk away, because it seems like it's easier, but anymore it doesn't seem like it. And I don't know if that's just because, you know, <clears throat> the medication I'm on, or I don't know. I, I've always been that way. I've always just, um, I let people run over me like nobody's business. I just can't help it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so... What I'm saying, that long, big, that big long pause there, is I have to start taking it out for myself a whole lot more. I'm gonna have to start um, not being such a pussy, I guess. That's the term. Well, it's not the best term, but I guess I could say push over, but I, I guess pussy is the same thing. But anyways, yeah, I need to stop doing, being that way. I need to stop um, being such a nice person, I guess, which I, I can't help it. I don't want to, I don't think I'm going to do that because I've, it's in my nature just to be nice to people because I, I you know, I want to make people trust me. I want people to trust me and know that I'm not going to screw them over in any way because that's not the way I am. And 
in the past I've had problems where, you know, people have screwed me over and in the end they end up having me screw the, another person over, but I've always went and paid that back, whatever it was, I always went back and made up for this, rather it be monetary or something like that, but I don't know, I guess I'm just getting tired of, you know, the same old, same old, but um, yeah. But guys, um, thanks for listening to me ramble about um, something other than health and stuff. I hope you guys um, got something out of this, uh, even though, if, like I said, it's just rambling. And um, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Now, um, we are going to Illinois this weekend, most likely, to go visit, take a look at the area to see what there is scope out uh, houses um, there's jobs there I know it. there's tons of jobs um, and it's a quiet neighborhood so that's something I really love I don't like living in town um, it's not fun just to live in um, <clears throat> a crowded congested area so it should be really really um, interesting I hope but anyways, guys, again, be sure to hit a like and subscribe. And again, my name is Panto6, and I definitely thank you guys for all the support. And uh, hopefully uh, this channel keeps on growing. And you guys take it easy. Bye.